Hello student, my name is Nimesh Prabhakar. I am assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology in Instrumentation and Control Department. Welcome to Process Control Lecture Series. Today I revise chapter number 2. So main important topics of chapter number 2 are first topic is mathematical modeling then state variable and state equation then mass balance and energy balance equation now next one is continuously stirred tank reactor CSTR and continuously stirred tank heater and last one is the degree of freedom so these are the important topic of the chapter number 2 and the main important topic in this chapter is the CSTR and CSTH and mass balance and energy balance equation. So this is the main important CSTH and CSTR. Now we discuss few of this topic. So first we start with the mathematical modeling. So what is mathematical model? A mathematical model of a process is a description of the characteristic of a number of phenomena that take place in a process. Model is a mathematical representation of a process intended to promote understanding of the real system. So this is the simple definition of mathematical model. Now we discuss the different type of the mathematical model. So mainly there are three types of the mathematical model. First was the first one type is the theoretical model. Second one is the empirical empirical model, and the last one is the semi-empirical model. So first we discuss about the theoretical model. So what is theoretical model? This model is also known as white box model and first principle model. This model is based on principle of conservation law like mass conservation, energy conservation and momentum conservation. The model are derived from the physics and chemistry of the process. So this is the theoretical model. Now we discuss about the empirical model. So this model is also known as black, uh, black box model. This model is obtained by fitting experimental data. If we have the experimental setup and we have different sets of inputs and output data, so by fitting those experimental data, we can determine the coefficient. So this is the empirical model. By that way we can construct a model and that model is the empirical model. Now next one is the semi-empirical model. This model is also known as gray box model because this model is a combination of the about two models. So this model is a combi combined approach of theoretical as well as the empirical model. That's why this model is known as the gray box model. Model equations are derived from basic conservation law and certain model parameters. Reaction rate and the heat transfer coefficient evaluate from physical experiment or from process operating data. So this is the semi-empirical model. Now we discuss about the state variable. State variable describes the nature, natural state of the process. There are basically three fundamental quantities we know. Mass, energy and momentum. Now these fundamental quantities are usually not directly or conveniently measured. They are characterized by these variables like 
टेम्परेचर प्रेशर फ्लो रेट सो दिस वेरिएबल आर कॉल स्टेट वेरिएबल सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्टेट वेरिएबल नाउ वॉट इज स्टेट इक्वेशन द इक्वेशन विच आर डिराइव बाय द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कंजर्वेशन प्रिंसिपल ऑन द फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज टू रिलेट द स्टेट वेरिएबल विथ अदर वेरिएबल आर कॉल्ड स्टेट इक्वेशन सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्टेट इक्वेशन नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मास बैलेंस एंड एनर्जी बैलेंस सो फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट विथ द कंजर्वेशन प्रिंसिपल सो जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ द कंजर्वेशन प्रिंसिपल इज रेट ऑफ एक्यूमुलेशन इज इक्वल टू रेट ऑफ इनपुट माइनस रेट ऑफ आउटपुट प्लस रेट ऑफ जनरेशन नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द मास कंजर्वेशन प्रिंसिपल सो द इक्वेशन इज रेट ऑफ मास एक्यूमुलेशन इज इक्वल टू रेट ऑफ मास इनपुट माइनस रेट ऑफ मास आउटपुट इन दिस इक्वेशन रेट ऑफ जनरेशन इज नॉट कंसिडर नाउ वी कंसिडर द एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन प्रिंसिपल सो रेट ऑफ एनर्जी एक्यूमुलेशन इज इक्वल टू रेट ऑफ एनर्जी इनपुट माइनस रेट ऑफ एनर्जी आउटपुट प्लस रेट ऑफ एनर्जी जनरेशन सो दिस इज द मास बैलेंस एंड एनर्जी बैलेंस इक्वेशन नाउ वी टू अंडरस्टैंड द मास बैलेंस वी कंसिडर द लिक्विड सर्च टैंक एग्जाम्पल सो दिस इज द लिक्विड टैंक हियर द एफ आई इज इंडिकेट द इनपुट और द इनलेट वॉटर फ्लो रेट एफ इज इंडिकेट द आउटपुट वॉटर फ्लो रेट एंड एच is indicate the height of liquid in tank and a is indicate the cross sectional area of the tank and v is the volume of the water in the tank now we know the mass balance equation rate of mass accumulation is equal to rate of mass input minus rate of mass output so we can write this equation as rate of accumulation is nothing but d by dt rho into v and rate of mass input is equals to rho into fi so fi is the inlet flow rate and rho is the density of the water and the rate of mass output is rho into f so we can write this equation as dv by dt is equals to fi minus f because rho is constant so we can write this equation in the terms of the area into height because we know the v is equals to a into h so a is the constant and dh by dt is equals to fi minus f so this is the mass balance equation for the liquid surge tank now we discuss here, here the state variable is the h because it indicate the state of the process and because it indicate the state of the system if height is very close to overflow condition then the status of the tank is it is the going to overflow and if the height is very close to zero the state is it is going to empty so the h indicate the state of the process now to understand the energy balance equation we consider the start tank heater so here fi indicate the inlet water flow rate ti is the inlet water temperature f is the outlet steam flow rate t is the outlet water temperature h is the height of the liquid in the tank and a is the cross sectional area of the tank and v is the volume of the water in the tank now we know the energy balance equation rate of energy accumulation is equals to rate of energy input minus rate of energy output plus rate of energy generation so we can write mathematically this equation as d by dt v rho cp t minus t rf this term indicate the rate of energy accumulation that means rate of change of enthalpy content of the tank now this term indicate the enthalpy coming 
in input stream and this is indicate the enthalpy of the output stream and q is the heat supply that means uh, it provide the heat now here the t ref is represent the reference temperature of, for enthalpy calculation and the cp is indicate the specific heat now we can write this equation as here we consider the t ref that means reference temperature is zero and we divide whole equation by the rho into cp so we get this equation now we know v is equals to a into h so we can write this equation as a d by dt h into t and remaining term is same so now we taking that differentiation of for this term this two term and so we get the this uh, h first is common and the derivation of t and this t is co a constant and derivation of the h and remaining term is same now here we rearranging this equation so we get here by in this equation t is common so fi minus f and remaining term we can arrange it so finally we get this equation as a dh by dt is equals to fi minus f so here we get this equation and by putting the value we get the final ah dt by dt fi ti minus t plus q upon rho cp now this is our final equation so this point we have not specify how heat entering to the system so now rate of heat input is equals to q u a t t s t minus t so here u is indicate the overall heat transfer coefficient a t is the total area of the heat transfer and t s t is indicate the temperature of the inlet steam and t is the temperature of the tank so by putting the value of the q we get the this equation so here this is our equation for the stir tank heater and in this equation state variable is the h and t because both indicate the state of the process and output variable is also h and t and input variable is and in this disturbance variable is fi and ti and the manipulator variable is q f and fi so this is the energy balance equation for the start tank heater okay